Marvel has officially confirmed that they will be once again attending San Diego Comic-Con Hall H. How's it going everybody? It's Warren and things are getting really exciting in the Marvel Universe as Marvel is attending San Diego Comic-Con Hall H again in less than two weeks. On July 20th, which is a Saturday, we are going to get 90 minutes of Kevin Feige, a producer and the president of Marvel Studios talking about the future of the MCU, along with some surprise panelists as well. This will be from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. again on Saturday, July 20th. Marvel has already confirmed that they're going to be talking about the future of the MCU, which includes movies for Phase 4. Not to mention all the Disney Plus shows that we're going to be getting, as well as the Fox characters that Disney now has the rights to use, such as the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and many, many other characters. So again, it's getting really, really exciting because we're finally going to get a look into what the future of the MCU looks like. So let's go over all of the Phase 4 movies and shows that are confirmed and are rumored to be happening. I will be doing constant San Diego Comic Con updates so if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any news and also if you would like a chance to win a Captain America shield, an Iron Man helmet, an Infinity Gauntlet, or another Marvel Legends item be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a giveaway at 450,000 subscribers. I'll be choosing three winners. So for the first Phase 4 movie that we know is confirmed, let's start with Black Widow. Now, technically, Marvel has not officially come out yet and confirmed that there is a Black Widow movie happening. However, we have leaked set photos and leaked set videos of Scarlett Johansson on set of the Black Widow movie filming. Not much is really known about the plot of Black Widow, but we do know that a new villain is going to be introduced into the movie and that villain, thanks to some leaked photos, looks to be Taskmaster. This makes perfect sense as a villain for the Black Widow movie because Black Widow is a master at hand-to-hand -hand combat. And one of Taskmaster's great abilities is the ability to be able to mimic his opponent. So we're going to see a lot of really great combat in this movie. The next movie for Phase 4 that we know is confirmed that has got a lot of attention lately is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and no, it is not going to be called as Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn has confirmed this. With the firing of James Gunn who directed the first and second Guardians of the Galaxy, it was unclear on whether or not Guardians 3 was going to happen. But some reports after he got fired came out and said that Guardians 3 was still going to happen and they were still going to use the same script that James Gunn wrote. But now James Gunn has been rehired and we can expect a new Guardians movie sometime in 2021 or 2022. James Gunn will have to finish filming Suicide Squad 2 before he can begin work on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and Suicide Squad 2 comes out in 2021. And thanks to a recent interview that James Gunn did, we have learned that Guardians 3 is going to focus on Rocket's story and will finish his story arc. And according to a leak from Roger Wardell on Twitter, Rocket's creator is the High Evolutionary. So perhaps he will be one of the villains in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 along with Adam Warlock who everybody has been waiting to see for a very long time now. Another movie that is confirmed for Phase 4 is Doctor Strange 2 as it is in pre-development. The Doctor Strange 2 movie is confirmed and it is also confirmed that Scott Derrickson, the director of the first movie, will be back to direct the second movie. And it has also been reported that C. Robert Cargill, the writer of the first Doctor Strange movie, will be back for the second. What's really interesting about this sequel is that in the end of the first movie, they set up Mordo to become the villain for Doctor Strange 2. However, not too long after it came out, the writer said that they would like Nightmare to be the main villain in Doctor Strange 2. While at the same time, Scott Derrickson has teased that Namor could be the villain. And of course, Doctor Strange no longer has the Time Stone, so nothing is really keeping Dormammu away as well. So there is a ton of potential for Doctor Strange 2, and the movie is supposed to start filming next year in 2020. The next movie that is confirmed to be happening in Phase 4 of the MCU is The Eternals, and this is supposed to be a really, really big movie for Marvel. The Eternals has begun casting, and according to reports, the cast so far is absolutely amazing. So far, it is reported that Angelina Jolie will be playing the role of Cersei. And it has also been reported that Richard Madden will be playing the role of Icarus and Salma Hayek, Kamel Nanjiani, and Don Sikma will be playing major roles in the movie as well. The Eternals were created by the Celestials and they were tasked by them to protect the Earth. A really big thing about the Eternals is that Thanos is actually an Eternal. Thanos' parents were Alars and Sui Sun, both Eternals, but Thanos was born with the Deviant Gene, which is why he's all big and purple. But a lot of people are wondering if we're going to see what Thanos was like as a child in the Eternals movie. We don't know of a release date yet, but we're hoping to learn more at San Diego Comic-Con in just a few days. 
Black Panther 2 is also confirmed to be happening as they are bringing back director Ryan Coogler, which makes perfect sense because Black Panther was a massive success. In Black Panther 2, Eric Killmonger has been heavily rumored to make a return somehow, although Kevin Feige has recently spoken up about it, claiming that this is in no way confirmed. But a lot of people are hoping that Black Panther 2 is going to introduce Namor into the MCU. Atlantis and Wakanda have a very long history in the comics of going to war with one another. And in Avengers Endgame, Okoye mentions that there was an underwater earthquake just off the coast of Africa. And many people are thinking that this could be Namor and the Atlanteans causing these earthquakes. Now, the Russo brothers have come out and said that this was not a Namor easter egg, but they also told us that Avengers Endgame wasn't going to be the title of Avengers 4. And Marvel really does their best not to spoil anything about the future of the MCU, so this very well could have been a Namor reference. Another movie that is confirmed to be coming is Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi is a superhero martial artist and not really much is known about the movie as it is only in pre-production and has started casting, but fans are super excited to see him enter the MCU. Now, one thing that has fans really excited about the possibility of this movie is that the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, has mentioned that the Mandarin, the true Mandarin, and the Ten Rings are going to enter the MCU. Now, how could this be possible if we no longer have a Tony Stark? Well, many people are speculating that it would make perfect sense to introduce the Mandarin in Shang-Chi. In the comics, Fu Manchu is Shang-Chi's father, and there is a lot of talk right now about Fu Manchu being replaced by the Mandarin. This would definitely be a very big twist on what we know about Shang-Chi and the Mandarin from the comics, but would be an amazing movie to see. Then we have some movies that are expected and rumored to be happening in Phase 4 but have no official confirmation yet, such as Captain Marvel 2. Given the massive success that Captain Marvel had and given the direction that Marvel and Disney are taking the MCU, it only makes sense that they're going to do a Captain Marvel 2. It's inevitably going to happen, we just have no official confirmation from Marvel yet. We are also expecting a Thor 4. Thor is a fan favorite. He's my personal favorite, and given the way Avengers Endgame ended for him, it definitely implies that we're going to be getting another Thor movie. And not to mention that in Thor Ragnarok, they finally found the direction they want to take Thor, and Taika Waititi and Chris Hemsworth have both expressed interest in continuing the story of Thor and the franchise. And then we have a Nova movie, which everybody has been waiting for for a very long time now, and even though it is not confirmed, the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige himself, has talked about they have been trying to introduce Nova into the MCU for some time now. Kevin Feige has mentioned that originally Nova was going to be introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy. They were then going to put him in Avengers Infinity War in the scene where Thanos decimates Xandar and obtains the Power Stone. They were originally going to film that scene and Nova was going to be in it, but ultimately they decided not to. And Kevin Feige has said in recent interviews that out of all of the characters that are on the board to be introduced into the MCU, Nova is a priority. There have been recent leaks that say Nova is actually going to be introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. After Guardians 3, he will then get his own solo film, which makes perfect sense. Introduce him because nobody knows who he really is and then give him his own solo film. And since Kevin Feige said that they were going to introduce him in Guardians 1, it would make sense that they would try to do it now in Guardians 3. And then of course we have a Spider-Man 3. We know that this movie is confirmed because Tom Holland still has one more Marvel Disney Spider-Man film left. And if Disney and Sony continue to introduce a solo Spider-Man film every two years, we can expect another one in 2021. But again, the movie is confirmed, the release date is not. A Fantastic Four movie has also been heavily rumored to be introduced into Phase 4. Now, this is just a rumor for now, but Kevin Feige did mention that out of all of the Fox characters that Disney and Marvel now have, the Fantastic Four would most likely be introduced first. And if Marvel is looking for a big bad villain to use in the future of the MCU, Doctor Doom is definitely an excellent choice. And then of course we have the X-Men and other Fox characters that Kevin Feige said would probably not be introduced into the MCU for at least another five years sadly. But now thanks to Disney Plus, along with the movies that are in the MCU, we are now going to have shows that exist in the MCU as well. We have many shows that are confirmed and rumored to be happening on Disney Plus, one of which is the Loki series which fans are super excited about, especially after Avengers Endgame where Loki managed to get the Tesseract and escape. He no doubt created an alternate timeline and many people are wondering what exactly he's up to. It has been said that the Loki series will show Loki at many different points in time and show how he influenced historical events. 
We then have a Wanda and Vision series that has been confirmed to be coming out on Disney Plus, and many fans are wondering how this is going to work considering the fact that Vision is right now dead. Now, Vision was basically built as an android, so it might not be impossible to bring him back as an android, and there was a comic story where Vision at one point in time basically loses all emotions. So we could be looking at something very similar to that in the Wanda and Vision series. In a recent interview, Elizabeth Olsen, who plays Wanda, said that there are many stories from the comic books that haven't been explored yet. She also mentioned that Wanda and Vision will be in the 1950s. And this isn't really too shocking considering the fact that at the end of Avengers Endgame, it seemed like Professor Hulk has pretty much figured out time travel. And then of course we have a Falcon and Winter Soldier series. At the end of Avengers Endgame, Steve Rogers handed over his shield and the mantle of Captain America to Sam. So in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show, we will clearly see Sam as the next Captain America. Not really much is known about the show yet, but it has been said to revolve around the relationship between the Winter Soldier and Falcon, which will be very interesting to see as Bucky was born in 1917 and Sam is very much a modern person. So no doubt we'll be getting some comedy with this new show. We're then going to have a What If Marvel series. For the fans of the What If Marvel comics, you're really going to love this show. The very first episode is said to be about Peggy Carter and what if she was Captain America. And there has been a lot of talk about a Hawkeye series where he will train Kate Bishop, although this has not been officially confirmed yet. So those are all of the movies and shows that are confirmed and rumored to be in Phase 4. Be sure to comment with your thoughts and let me know what you are most excited to see in Phase 4. Also, don't forget to comment with your favorite superhero or villain, like this video, and subscribe to my channel so you can enter my Marvel Legends item giveaway, and stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.